That was a close call. Hi, how you doing there <laughs> out there on broadcast land? <laughs> oh, we're doing real good, although we got the gig. She had a little munchkin <laughs> just came by in front of the camera, but she, she got Doris. out just in time. You know, somebody wrote to us and wanted to see what Doris looked like. She's been right. on. Doris, come, come here. And just, come just uh, We need to let people see. This is Doris. I'm not sure I know <laughs> myself. She's real. There she is. Let's hear it right. for her. All right. Ooh, okay. Yes. There we go. Hi, Doris, Doris Doris. Everybody That's wants it. to know That's what Doris it. looks like. That's there. great. Now. All right, Doris, Get back to the here. corner. <laughs> <laughs> She's a good-natured yes, soul. Yes, she is. Huh, we hope. Yes. Anyway. And I, oh, thank I'm, all you camera persons for your fine reaction. Right. Wonderful applause. <laughs> Beer right. sprout soup is what I'm going to make today. Ooh, and I've got the <laughs> Sailor's Delight. What? What is that, what is that old thing? Uh, red? <laughs> Sky and warning. I don't, know, warning. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, anyway. Sailors take warning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sailor's Delight. Run for, no. run, <laughs> run run for your life. Light. All right. No, that's not okay. it. All right, you go ahead and start while I play around out here with these baked potatoes what that do you are very mean while hot. You play around well, I'm going to start slicing them. Oh, okay, right. you go on and do okay. what you want to do. Uh, this is an interesting recipe: beer sprout soup, which uh, has brought just gales of strange uh, reactions. <laughs> I don't know what I think of it. Well, I've never had it. So I'm going to make it today for the first time. First thing we do, and I've been doing this, and this is just perfect timing today. I tell you, the crew has got their act together. Uh, we take six slices of bacon and, and just fry that stuff along very slowly, which is what I've been doing for the last 15 or so minutes, until it's nice and dark. Now, you'll want it that dark because you're going to take it off here and you're going to put it I beg your pardon. And, and drain it a little bit. Did you say take it off? Mm -hmm, well, I did. just look no, over no, here. It, I'll show you leave how to it take off. it off. Leave it off. Watch this. <laughs> my strings broke on my apron. It's the rudest it's thing I've ever seen. It's the first time they've ever television. been flashed on TV. So anyway, <laughs> take that, set it aside, leave the uh, bacon drippings in the pan because we're going to put something in it in just a second. And over here on this eyeball, I have some Brussels sprouts. Aren't they looking pretty? Just real mm -hmm. gorgeous and green. I wonder if they're ready Do you yet. like Brussels sprouts oh, I love in them. real life? They're perfect. They're absolutely perfect. They've been going, I told you seven minutes would do the job. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take those and drain those and set them aside for the end of the recipe because what we're going to do is when they cool a little bit, we're going to slice them in half and then later on we're going to dump them in the me this mess. Now I've got one other thing i got to do and then we'll go to Mr. Johnson. Now what i got over here, of course, is I've got that looks right hot, doesn't it? I'm afraid it's going to explode on me. Hot grease. Hot grease. <laughs> what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to start what chopping he uses up. On his hair in the morning. I'm going to start chopping up an onion and or a pepper and uh, what else? Oh, and and uh, a little bit of garlic, and I'm going to throw that in there in a couple of minutes and fry it. Mm. And that's what I'm going to start doing right mm. now, Miss Johnson. You up know to you. it'll be good. Thank you so much, Mr. Blind. And keep your hands off my bacon. All right. Well, I just love it. I'm not supposed to have it, but I do like it. Now, what I've done is I boiled some potatoes, and you got to have enough to to cover the bottom of your dish to maybe a half an inch or an inch thick. And I peeled them. And the trick is to boil them in the peel, and then run some cold water over them, and then let them cool off for a few minutes till you can hold them in your hands and then the peel will come right off real easy. And I'm just thin slicing them with a plain old dinner knife. And they go down in this casserole. This was sent in by Paula Kurtz, and Paula knew what she was doing because uh, she described how to peel these potatoes, and she was exactly right. Nobody sent mine in. Mine just kind of dropped out of the sky. Mm -hmm. Out of somebody's imagination. Now. You spread your potatoes out in your casserole real good and kind of mash them down a little bit. Mm. And that's going to go right over there. Now you got to make a seasoning mixture. Oh, I got potato all over my hand. Now you can use a cup and you need two teaspoons, two teaspoons of salt. One, two. And then you need a quarter or a half a teaspoon of pepper, and I like pepper, so I'm going to use a little bit more than a quarter, I think. And then you want to use the same amount of dry mustard. It's about a half a teaspoon. And then you want to diddle around in there 
and get it all mixed up. My recipe calls for dried mustard too today. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that, it really is. That must be some kind of a signification. That these are gonna, these are good dishes, I can tell you right now. Now, you get that all mashed up, you get the lumps out your mustard and everything, and then you wanna sprinkle about half of this mixture over your potatoes. Over your what? Over your potatoes. Oh, all right. Just put it in there over your potatoes. At least that's the way Paula says to do it. And then you've got the rest of that left here in your cup. Now, the next thing we got to do is <laughs> nothing to it. Uh huh. <laughs> Didn't look like much there for a minute. All right, you got to chop up two medium-sized onions, and I couldn't find two medium ones in the bag. You know what I think you ought to do? What? I think you know you have that little saying that you love to tell people every time you get interviewed by the newspapers, never catch a falling, falling knife. knife. Uh -huh. I think maybe you ought to add a hot <laughs> pan to that too Full while you're at it. Well, I got two, you're right. There's two tablespoons full of shortening in there. And of course I'm using- Mama the, loves shortening. The fat free. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she loves shortening bread. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Mama's little boy. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, mm. I know they used to sing it to you. Mm -hmm. And you'd cry for more and more of that shortening bread. Yes, indeed. Did, did anybody ever give you shortening bread when you were little? I have no idea. Oh. I have a very short memory about shortening oh. bread. <laughs> well, about a lot. Isn't I was funny? just a we're kid. We're both here peeling our uh, Well, isn't this one? Bubs. Isn't it great? I thought I was off camera. I was <laughs> doing some other Peeling over the pan. All right, now, these have got to be chopped up real good and fine. It doesn't get to be soon. This stuff's got the bread just burned. Take your time. But hurry up. Well, I'm doing the best I can, Your Honor. Oh, I just washed my hands over the Brussels sprout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how gross. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding, folks. Just a little rinse. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right to get it going something hot. <laughs> <laughs> and there was no, uh, huh? There was no uh, soup, uh, soap over there, so. They're not allowed. Can, can I do something? I don't know, can you? Well, I, I just you may need, if you want to. I just need something. I, I, you know, we've got all that of this. That was uh, from back when I was a teacher. Bacon drippings and they're real hot. And difference. they're real hot. And I'm just going to take uh, uh, an onion and uh, a pepper, all chopped up, and you're going to do it in that. And also a little bit of garlic. Squish that in there too while you're at it. There we go. And now we just have to saute those, so that's all I can do for right at the moment. And then I'll get back to the exciting part of the program. Later. Well, I've got to do the same thing. Are you sure we're not both doing the same well, recipe? I hope not. <laughs> but I don't think I got any Brussels sprouts in mine. Now I do have cabbage. Same thing, practically. Practically, it's not much both different. Whole vegetables. <laughs> all right, now here goes my two onions chopped over into this frying pan that has two tablespoons of shortening in it. Now, this has to be, oh, one fell over in this other burner. All right, now they have to be cooked until they're golden brown. Hmm. So I'll just let, the, all right, y'all do your tricks. All right, now, big bowl. And into this bowl goes one and a quarter pounds of ground chuck. Oh, that onion has got in my eyeballs. Ooh. Ground chuck. And a quarter pound of ground, what's wrong? <laughs> I was trying delicately to get this little top out oh. and it just went blah, 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 <laughs> right down to the bottom. Oh. No. Sometimes just can't get them out of there. Well, anyway, now I've got to throw in a quarter pound of ground poke. Poke. Like poke. Translation means pork, ladies and gentlemen. Right, there's the pork, and it's down in there. And now I've got to add to it, oh, oh a half boy. a cup of chopped celery. So excuse me while mm. I chop my celery. <sighs> what are you drinking? A little water. Oh. I'll tell you, I haven't... Uh, now, wait a minute. We're not doing that anymore, remember? What, drinking water? Uh-huh. Why is it? 
<laughs> Health department been by again? No. <laughs> Let me do something while he's doing that. We had that lady that called in, and after she Let's laid us please. out for Let's licking not our talk fingers. About that lady. All right, now here, what I'm going to do is we're going to take this bacon down, and with your bare fingers. She didn't like rusty water. You remember rusty water. Uh -huh. He used to be a cameraman here. See what we're doing here? We're crumbling this stuff up with your bare fingers, and there is no shortcut to doing that, ladies and gentlemen, but the secret is you got to get it real crisp, and you got to let it just set a little bit, and then it'll just do it wonderfully. And while I'm doing that, of course, all the stuff uh, is sauteing the onions and the bell peppers and, uh, and a little bit of uh, garlic. Back to Laban. Well, That's thanks, so. Larry. So. Um, now, I've got a half a, a cup of chopped celery in there, and I'm going to add a half a cup of bread crumbs. I'm so proud of that. I you. know. You get so good at saying all that. All right. Now, that's all that goes in there. And so, let me just put a little. Mmm, Laban. Mm, that's bacon. Mm. Oh, you <laughs> No, you can't because there's nothing but little pieces. Mm -hmm. Makes mm. me mad when you keep, keep your fingers out of it. Which one has the bucket? Yeah. Now, these onions are smelling real good. <laughs> and you have to make sure. What are you doing back there? <laughs> I was a little confused as to which side of the sink I could use. Oh. Did you find out? Oh, I don't know. I just, I just ran the water down the track. We'll find out soon. Enough. Woo, doesn't now, that look good? Now, the trick is when you're doing this not to have too much shortening in your pan because they won't fry fast enough. Mustard and mm, cook. Mm, mm, mm. Can I do something here while you're Go getting ahead. ready to diddle that around? All right, now we're going to take uh, two and a half uh, tablespoons of flour and put that in there. And we're also going to put some dry mustard in there. And we're going to go to town on that. Let's see, a little dry mustard. We're going to have to have a teaspoon. I'll just guess. I'm pretty good sometimes, except when I'm not. Now, we'll turn that up a little bit. I guess we're making kind of a roux. Whoa, oh. whoa that's the wrong thing. That's going to explode. Whoa. OK. And we'll just kind of get that started around in there. And that's going to make our base. Oh, and well, I guess you brown that a little bit. Yeah. You don't want it to have that. Uh, you don't want it to have the uh, floury taste. No. So you've got well, to do something with it. They're a signifying bit. to us. So while you're browning those uh, vegetables, well, they just there, told us we had 15 uh, minutes. Well, th they announced that the Cook sisters are stomping their feet back in the oh, back and well. are anxious to get on. Well, well, okay. So why don't we bring the old girls uh, <laughs> out? And bring them on. Let, let them cook a little bit while we're uh, sauteing and cooking our roux and burning our onions and... <gasps> Sis, wake yeah. up! Oh, wake up! Oh. Remember back when you were young and still cooking and did things? Yeah. Well, I got something here. I am still cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way you used to, though, I'll tell oh, you. Oh, I remember that. That's Daddy's old bunion scraper. Simmering would be more like it, not cooking. No, it's not a bunion scraper. That's right interesting. As a matter of fact, it's a pickle maker. You, you put your cucumber on there, and, and it crinkle cuts it ah. real good. And just crinkle cut those little things, and then you put them in jars, and, and, and the then you got pickles. And the looks like store-bought. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Well, I'm Sister Cook. And I'm Tootsie Cook. And, and we're, we're the, the Cook, Cook Sisters. Sisters. Oh, they're yes. such great fun. Mm -hmm. They such really are. I was just trying to figure out when you put this bacon back in. I, I can't find it. I know you got to do something with it besides let it set on the counter. But I can't remember where it goes. <laughs> well, just put it in later on. Yes. Right now, you cook this for about two minutes. You can see it's starting to get a nice brown look to it. It's got about another minute to go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add an entire, I hate to even start open this subject, an entire can or bottle of B-E-E-R for you adults. Mm -hmm. Don't say it in front of the children because oh, they might be offended. So anyway, we'll do that in just a second. Then you cook it for another minute after that, and then we're going to add some chicken stock to it. We'll cook it a little bit longer. It just it goes on and on and on. And then at the All last right. minute, we'll add cheddar cheese, and uh, I'm going to throw the bacon in about that time. That's the garnish. garnish. Yeah. It says garnish with bacon. Why didn't you know that? <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, while you're over there diddling around in that pan, I need to mix up some. Now, my onions are got to be golden brown. In the meantime, here are all the ingredients in my pan, and you got to mix it up. Mama's little baby lunch. And you just have to mix all of this together. Now, don't together. forget to wash your hands after you finish doing that. Let me... Uh, Where are those Brussels sprouts? Let me do this. I'm going to put in an entire light, because we're very conscious about our weight, <laughs> B-E-E-R. Goes in there just like that. Mm -mm. Now all of the A-L-C-O-H-O-L -O -O will cook out of that. Uh-huh, that's right. So for yeah. all you that get it's, highly it's a good recipe. nervous, just relax. It's a good recipe. Okay, now you cook that for a minute. That's all there is to that right now. That's all. Oh, Laban, how you coming along I'm there? Good. Did you find anything in there? No, except uh, looks like a wedding ring and the end of somebody's <laughs> thumb. All right. It, <laughs> all right. Now these onions are tinged with gold. They're very pretty. And now I'm going to dump into this pan the meat mixture. Whisk. It's got too that's, much. A, that's a mighty whisky thing to do. Now, now, you have to cook this mixture over here in this pan till all of the pink comes out. You don't want to leave any pink in it. Doris told me that I was spooning when I should have been whisking. <laughs> so, I'm going to whisk. Oh, I don't think that's the kind of spooning she was oh, thinking. Oh, well, look at this. It is turned into a right big mess. Uh huh. No, it is starting to look real. Interesting. Bizarre. It is. No, look, it's getting thick and pretty. Mm -hmm. It's got a right pretty color to it once you get under that, the head that's on it. <laughs> <laughs> I never had a soup with a head on it before. That's incredible. Now, the next thing we're going to do, that's gone about long, long as I can stand it. Now, we're going to add uh, chicken stock to that. Do I have to whisk that in or can I stir that in? <laughs> I don't know. It's mighty whiskey. Oh, no, there, there's oh I hope that lid top didn't fall out. There we go. We'll put some of that in there. And now we're going to cook for another four or five minutes, and then we're going to add to that uh, some of the other stuff. But nothing right now. I only thing I can do now is just stand around and let oh, it cook a well, little bit. Well, my, the pink is beginning to come out of this meat, and that's important. You don't want it to burn, but you do just want to keep stirring it around till it cooks down on you a little bit. And even if you think it's unmanageable, you'll find that it, as it cook, the more it cooks, the easier it gets to deal with. It doesn't look like this thing's very hot today. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. Well, I guess I just added that cold B E E R. Uh huh. <sighs> and so that a yeah, bit. it takes a little while longer to get to, back up again. To get back up. But it, it'll do it. How is you? Oh, your heat's just fiery hot down under mm -hmm. there. Just yeah. red hot. And so is this. Hot as the gates of Hades. Oh, no. And you I mean H-E-L-L? H-E-L-L. <laughs> and that's no. Oh. No, never mind. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. They well, want recipes. Just, just keep bugging Sling us. Sling them on up today. here. Yeah, come on. Bring them on. I think they're bored with us. They're trying to tell us something. Well, we're doing the best we can. A sailor's delight. Three cups of thinly sliced potatoes, mm. two teaspoons of salt, quarter teaspoon each of pepper and dry mustard. I like a little more of each. Two tablespoons of shortening, two onions finely chopped. And, oh, it goes on. One and a quarter pounds of chuck steak chopped, a quarter pound of ground pork ground, uh, fresh pork ground half cup of chopped celery and a half cup of soft bread crumbs. Know what I'm going to do? Oh, I better read my beer sprout recipe. Half a pound of Brussels sprouts, six slices of bacon and onion chopped bell pepper diced, one and a half cloves of garlic minced, two and three quarters teaspoon of uh, flour and a teaspoon of dry mustard, and 12 ounces of light, you know what, one and a half cups of chicken stock, Add seven ounces of shredded medium sharp cheddar cheese, or as sharp as you like it, I think, salt and pepper, which I haven't put in here. I oh, need some no. salt and pepper. Would you give me okay. a little salt? Yeah, I forgot the salt and pepper. Take it. Also, something else I'm going to do, I've got these Brussels sprouts, and what you do after they've cooled and they have, just take them and cut them in half. 
you have them because we're going to add them to the soup mixture in just a couple of minutes. It's finally starting to boil again. I was getting a tad bit on the worried side. So I'm just going to have those and then a couple of, and while I'm at it, I'm going to start shredding my cheese because I got nothing else to do. I'm a little bored. Oh, okay. Well, uh, while we're doing that, uh, Miss Witch uh, is here with another letter. She said this was a particularly complimentary one and we would definitely want to read it here on the air. So, Witchy. Well, she's hung up in the rafters oh, again. No. <laughs> she won't come down. Oh, I can't believe it. This is pretty bad. Oh, the witches. <laughs> Perhaps if we had a broom handle. I can't get to the well. The witch well. is totally wasted. It'll just have to be a surprise <laughs> because we don't know what we're supposed to cook. <laughs> I knew you all were throwing it around too hard earlier today. I just knew it. Well, what could you do? I don't know. Nothing. All right, now, once the pink is out, out <laughs> oh, I just can't. wonder what it. she would have said if she could have. <laughs> if she could have been with if us. If she could have been with us today. Well, once the, the, uh, the meat has cooked a little bit, you put it in on top of the potatoes uh -huh. <laughs> and you mash it down real good. I gotta do it this way. I'm sorry to turn my pan back to you. Turn your pan to the camera. How awful. First thing you learn in broadcasting, never turn your pan to the camera. Oh, I feel sorry for whoever the, the uh, washer is today. The dishwasher, because th that pan is gonna take some doing. Oh, now, man. you put this in your dish and you have to bake it for a half an hour at 350 degrees. This takes the right smart of cheese, this recipe. Uh -huh. well, while you're doing that, I'm gonna go get my uh, dishes that I prepared in advance and take them over to the table. That's a right smart pile of cheese. It, it really is, but you gotta work a right smart of it in there. You have to put in about seven ounces, and I'm gonna add it right now. Ah! I'm gonna add it right now, or I'm never gonna get it in there. Well, I've left this set on the thing and I can't handle it anymore. And you just put in a little this is the daub at a time. Well, it's starting to look real cheesy and pretty, isn't it? Mostly well, I wouldn't look say real cheesy. cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> this whole show's looking right cheesy today. I will put that in there. And in a couple of seconds, we're going to return our Brussels sprouts back in just at the last possible minute. We're going to do that. I think that should be the greatest of plenty. It probably, well, it doesn't have to boil. It just says to put it in, right? Right. So anyway, and we're going to return the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> it doesn't say turn over the Brussels sprouts. It says return the Brussels sprouts back to it. And then I, I uh, hang on a second. I'm just going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm real nervous. Um, I'm going to take that out. Oh, it looks real pretty, doesn't it? Somebody say it looks pretty. And oh yes, and don't forget, of course, you've got to add just a little bit of your your bacon to the top of that. It's just lovely. You got a spoon over there, Johnson? Well, I've got one that I'm using for oh, the cabbage. Oh, awful! We need spoons, huh? For the soup? They over there? Is there a serving? Yeah, there's soup spoons over here, but oh. there's not a serving spoon for it. And here we cut. What's well, all right? I've dipped it out over here to save us a little time. And here's your soup. Oh, good, thank you. Oh, and there were soup bowls over uh -huh. here. I didn't even know it. The the soup witch has been here and brought little and bowls. And there's your buttered cabbage. Cause Ooh, it smells Paula good. Paula said to serve it with buttered cabbage. So there it is. It smells wonderful. I'm just real anxious to eat up on it. Mmm, you're absolutely right, Laban. Ooh, the soup is real tasty. This is a first class dish. Albeit rather hot, but mm, mm, mm. it's real tasty. Mm, I'll mm. try a little of this soup myself. You're right, it is absolutely molten. It'll ruin your mouth. Well, I must say it's interesting. I think it's real good. Mm -hmm. Besides, we have got a real good meal here today. Let's see, do we have time for a letter? Oh no, this one goes on forever. We gotta go. And goodbye everybody.